Hello and welcome Ice Swarm here and today this is some Battlefield 4 Hardline. As you're probably aware the Hardline uh, beta has been out for like a week now. Um, I got into it on the first day I've been playing it having loads of fun. There's been a couple of issues which is why I haven't been able to upload it when I wanted to upload it but um, here we are with a video and I'm just going to give my opinion of the entire thing. Um, so Battlefield Hardline, what it is, it's like any other Battlefield game has, you know, all of, like, the same sort of stuff. It's like a reskin of Battlefield 4 is the best way to explain it. But it feels a lot smoother. It's cops versus robbers. Game modes are a lot uh, cooler. Um, and it just generally feels like a more complete game. So uh, that's what it is. And it's less um, vehicle orientated, more infantry orientated. So, uh, in this clip, I'm playing some Blood Money on uh, high, ta high tension. High tension. Um, and uh, Blood Money, what that is, is um, both teams have a vault. Cops have a vault, robbers have a vault. And there's a pile of money slash evidence in the middle. You have to collect that money, bring it back to your vault until you have five million in your vault. You can carry up to five hundred thousand at a time. You can kill other people carrying money, take their money, take it back to your vault, or you can go over to the enemy's vault and steal their money. So it's like a capture the flag, but uh, a lot more advanced and a lot more goes on. It's not all orientated on one person with the flag. So uh, that's really good. Uh, in this clip though, obviously I'm not doing that. I'm in the scout helicopter, or the executive helicopter I think it's called. Um, and I am going on an awesome killing stre uh, streak. And just mowing down people in the helicopter. So uh, yeah, that's what this clip is. My thoughts on the game and the, uh, the actual beta. Well, it's very balanced. I feel that uh, the weapons are quite balanced. All the vehicles are balanced. Um, the map is good. It's got um, a mix between air, ground, and infantry. It's quite close quarters. You can get them to buildings, zip line across to the buildings, grab them up buildings. What I feel of the uh, actual beta. Well, uh, the frame rate, awesome. I get the same frame rate as I do in Battlefield 4. So there's no issues like that with the Battlefield 4 beta where you know frame rate was so low and it was super laggy the uh, servers seemed to be good hadn't any had any issues with that um i know it's a few months releasing this beta a few months before the game comes out that's really good i like that idea um it so they can actually test it rather than with back before where they released it a couple of weeks before they were doing the actual uh, reveal uh, releasing of the actual game so uh, i feel that that gives them a lot more chance to improve and have a look at our feedback we give to them fix bugs fix issues fix any uh, issues like that so um that is really good it shows that they are um the story is really uh persistent on trying to get this game to be good and they're dedicated to it so um i have high hopes for this game being a really good full complete game on release and the dlc is just you know being added on top rather than whereas battlefield 4 has it doesn't have that it feels like it's missing it that is not complete so netcode um not really had much issues with that i did play a game earlier today and uh, i kept getting i kept, kept getting killed and the enemy was on one health i think it happened like five or six times but other than that when i was playing like these gameplays netcode seemed to be really improved really flushed out um got killed like around the corner like once um it, it feels a lot better um, so it feels more complete as a game and I'm not having any issues with that so that's definitely on that side um, the classes you have uh, enforcer mechanic operator and professional uh, the enforcer no the operator is the assault class and that has you know your normal assault rifle weapons um, then you get a little snub 3.338 um, and then you got your gadgets so you got the first aid pack um, the adrenaline revive shot and uh, the survivalist and then the normal 
uh, attachment uh, attachments and gadgets, which I'll go through later. Then you've got the uh, mechanic, which is the uh, uh, engineer class from Battlefield 4, which has the RPG. Then he also has uh, the repair tool and something that I get, the stinger. Uh, and then you've got the enforcer, which has um, he has LMGs and the mechanic is obviously BDWs, uh, it, and the mechanic also has an M9 for a, a secondary. The enforcer has uh, LMGs. Then he has I can't actually remember what he has for secondary, but uh, he has another sidearm. Then his they got C4, a riot shield. Uh, as like their gadgets, um, I haven't actually played Enforcer, so I can't remember all their gadgets. Uh, then you've got Professional, which is the sniping class, uh, the recon in Battlefield 4, which is um, has sniper rifles. They have a little Tech 9 as their secondary, which is like a sort of imagine it like a uh, Scorpion, but with a slightly bigger mag, um, which is really awesome and it's got a decent fire rate damage. They've got like a little camera, which is like the motion sensor. Then they've got um, C4, I want to say, but I'm not 100% sure. They've also got uh, a decoy. I don't think they have C4, they've got like a decoy thing. And uh, there's uh, air gadgets. The universal gadgets are gas mask and taser, which and grappling hook and zipline. Uh, zipline, you can zipline across like 100 meters uh, on things that are lower than you. And uh, grappling hook, you can climb, you can shoot it up onto walls which are highlighted, and then climb up the uh, grappling hook rope. Taser, you can tase people; they'll go down the floor. Then you can shoot them, or you can take the tags or beat them down with a baton and interrogate them. It's up to you. It's only good for close range. So there's the classes. Um, weapon balancing. I feel that uh, the weapons in the game are really balanced. Like the everything has its own role. Like there's no the suppression in the game is no longer as bad. It only adds weapon sway and um, like a sort of blur effect. So it really isn't that bad. Um, it's no longer increased bullet deviation, increased recoil and all that, which has made it hard to actually fight back. So uh, the weapon balancing is really good. Every weapon has got its own sort of place in the game. Um, and overall the accuracy of guns have been decreased but i still feel that they all work with their own stuff so um i'm really happy with how they balance all these weapons vehicles are balancing this is a big topic which i really like um and that big topic really is the fact that all vehicles but the armored trucks and the respawn vehicles um they can all be damaged by small arms fire and grenades. You've got a police car or a muscle car or a sedan or a motorbike. You can shoot them with your Uzi or you can shoot them with an RPG and blow them up in one shot. Um, you can shoot them with your Uzi and completely destroy them in like a mag and a half. So I really like that. It means that vehicles aren't overpowered and you can't stop. Like, you don't feel like, oh, damn, there's a police car coming at me. So I grab out my RPG, boom, shoot, boom. There'll be videos of me doing that all the time. It's real fun. But having the ability to use your weapons and grenades to do that much damage to vehicles is really nice. Especially for the balancing against infantry. And that also works for the helicopters. The transport helicopters that can't have damage done to it by small arms. But the scout helicopter can. They both have bulletproof glass, so you can't snipe the pilots out. But you can use your weapons to damage the helicopters, which I really like. It means that if you've got a little bird attacking you, just pull out your gun, you can shoot it, do like one damage for like two or three rounds. So it's really nice. Um, and I feel that it makes it less difficult for infantry to fight back. Uh, attachments, the way it works is you unlock the attachment from using the gun loads you know like you win battles but you can't equip it straight away you have to earn money through getting score and points and then you choose which attachments and which guns you want and you buy them same with the knife baton all of that stuff all the gadgets you buy them from earning score points so i really like that it makes it less like you just get 
stuff thrown at you. you. You have to decide and you outfit your class how you want it. You've got to decide, do I add a laser sight or an extended <coughs> or an extended mag? And then you're like, well, a laser sight's a lot cheaper, so I might as well buy that now and then save up and then get the extended mag because that's what I actually want. So I really like that. You know, it means that you have to choose and think wise about what you're buying and then save up for like the more expensive stuff. Um, the gadgets, they all have a place in it. I feel that um, they all work really well. Grappling hooks, you can just climb up stuff. The zip lines, fast escape routes. Taser's really good. Gas mask stops against gas grenades, which uh, they damage you over time. They cause suppression and they block off alleyways and stuff you don't want to run through them. The gas masks have their place as a gadget and then like the survivalist uh, injection means that if you get shot and you don't die from falling damage, explosive damage, knife being taken, or a headshot, you can revive yourself, which I really like, which means that you don't have to rely on your teammates all the time, because Battlefield is meant to be a team-oriented game, but you can't really rely on your teammates. Um, but you can still have this survival list and the revive pen, um, so you, it means that you can balance it out a bit. Uh, and the same with every class, all their attachments work really well. Like the riot shield is completely bulletproof, it can stop grenades and explosives that happen behind you. If it's on your back, it will stop bullets. So it means that you get a grenade thrown at you, you can either pluck your riot shield and face at it, and it will absorb all the damage, or you can just quickly spin round and crouch and absorb all the damage. And I like that, I think it gives it a more defense, more like you want to think through how you want to play as that class and work better with your teammates. I think that's really good. Um, the map, really nice, there's some bits of evolution in there, you know, as a bit of difference to the map, I feel that uh, it works really well with the whole map design, like the crane falling down, crushing parts, or like the bridge, you can break apart the bridge and then drive a car up there, it really feels like they thought about what they wanted to do, and it doesn't make the map worse, it adds to the map, like um, in some maps in Battlefield 4, they're just a lot better before the evolution, like Gulf of Oman, Siege, uh, Siege Shanghai, uh, those maps are a lot better before the tower fort goes down or before the sandstorm comes in. So, uh, but with this, I feel like there's no difference, it just adds like a different element to the game. The game modes, um, they're both really nice. The Bud Money one, I've already explained, I think it adds a lot of teamwork, a lot of you have to be defensive or offensive, or you, you've got to be a team player or support, adds more complexity into it. Uh, the other game mode of uh, Heist, that's like um, Rush, but it's quite different. I, I feel like there's just a bit too many players, or it's a little bit too cramped, but I still like it as a game mode, and they just got maybe it's not the best for that map, but it's really cool. Um, it's very balanced, and uh, with that one, you've got to blow open some vaults, grab the money, and take it to two extract points, so... Uh, it's similar in some ways, but one team attacks, one team defends, which is pretty nice. Uh, one thing I do want to touch on just before uh, I end this video is knifing and animations. Like, one thing I always said to uh, Zach was how in Battlefield they don't have that many knife animations, and I thought that if you counter somebody, you should knife them and then like pull out your pistol and like shoot them through the head, or there should be a lot more complexity to the fighting and stuff i felt that it was quite glitched and never worked well but uh with this i've only ever experienced one glitch knife kill uh take down that's because he takes me down like and it, i went through a wall sort of thing or like through an escalator it was um i feel that they've really made it feel like when you knife someone or when you beat them down you're actually doing it it doesn't feel like you're slapping somebody around the face and just fucking stood there playing pat cake it feels like you are actually stabbing them in one of my later videos i get some knife animations and there's no audio but i literally i was like oh my god it's like it was such a horrible sound it made when i stabbed them that it felt so realistic and it really immersive. I feel that now you actually feel like you're stabbing people and the animations are so much more diverse for the knife, the baton and the baseball bat. So uh, I can't wait until they add any more melee weapons into the game because it adds a lot to it. Um, and it makes it more diverse and that's what I want. So uh, good points. I feel that they've flushed it all out. 
and it's really good as a whole. Bad points, I feel like it's more of a DLC for Battlefield 4. I feel like they're trying to make up for the uh, failure that Battlefield 4 sort of was. Um, I can't say that much about it really because I haven't played it. I've only played it for like three hours, but uh, I like it a lot. I feel that you guys should try and get into the closed beta. If you're not, eventually there'll probably be an open beta. Definitely try it before you buy it because it's really expensive. It's in like fifty pounds. Uh, Digital Deluxe is like sixty, and then you got like premium of like probably forty pounds on top of that if you want to get it. So it's a lot of money, and uh, don't go buying it and then realizing that it's done about for four and you can't really play it for the first couple of months because how shit it is but uh, hopefully that won't happen definitely try it out first i like it a lot i'll probably be buying it but i can't not many bad points spring to mind when i uh, look at the game so uh i'll be doing a lot more videos on this and uh i hope you enjoy and i hope this gives you a rough idea of what the game's like thanks for watching